Avery, we have a very important message we want to share with you. And it goes a little something like this. I'm really sorry that I missed your party. I can't blame Tyler like when I get farty. But worse than that, I lied like a rug to you, a horrible act you'd expect for a pug to do. As friends go, I know I'm not your bestest. But how could I not make the cut on that guest list? My party invite must have slipped your mind. I live next door, really hard to find. What we're trying to say through all of this fumbling, freezing me out was really a dumb thing. Avery Jennings, you really are something, yeah. Carl, I didn't notice before, but your part of our friendship song is a bit negative. <laughs> Sorry, Stan, I'm trying to stay positive, but Rome wasn't sacked and destroyed, extinguishing the light of Western civilization for an entire millennium in a day. The fact that you guys would go to all this trouble, Stan, your heartfelt expression, and Carl, whatever you were singing, <laughs> it means more than I can say. So, I made you this. <gasps> I call it my friends. Carl, I'm sorry that I didn't invite you to my party. You are my friend. Friends? Us? Oh, Avery, I'm touched. The moment is finally here. <laughs> For those of you unfamiliar with the term anticlimax. And Stan... Wait a I... second. Avery, this painting is of Carl and me performing our song. How did you know we were gonna do that? Were you spying on us? Derp. <laughs> when Avery hears the song we've written for her, I guarantee she'll forgive you. I just hope you're right. Of course I am. It's also the perfect opportunity for me to show her what a good friend I can be. Oh my gosh. That's why Stan's over here. They're doing something nice for me. I also love me some turkey. <laughs> so you ready to get to work on that song? Yeah. I sure hope this shows Avery how much I really love her. I wish she knew that. I wish she knew that no matter how much time I spend with you or anyone else, I could never love anyone like I love her. I'm sure she knows that, Stan. If she did, she wouldn't have said I chose you over her. She wouldn't have shut the door on me. I'm so sorry, Stan, that I didn't trust how much you love me. I'm sorry I called you a bad friend. I'm sorry I lied to you about why I missed your party. Well, this is every boy's worst nightmare. His arch nemesis and her talking dog making him feel like a third wheel. Get in here, Carl. Go! Sometimes when friends have a fight, they come out of it closer than they ever were before. 